Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you a week in my life slash some days in my life in Syracuse. I am home for the week. Came home for Mother's Day which was yesterday but I'm here for a whole week and I leave next Sunday so I'm really just hanging out in Syracuse. Um, I have a few plans throughout the week which will be fun but other than that just working, spending time with my family and my dogs. Before we really jump into it don't forget to hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and yeah I hope you guys enjoy uh, this little Syracuse vlog. So today is Monday. It is you know a normal Monday. I am working but it's really nice because now that I'm working full-time in my job I really wanted to get another monitor for my computer and I knew I had one at home. I literally got it like my sophomore year of college so it's been collecting dust in my basement but I knew I could give it some good use and so I plan to bring it back to the city but I'll show you guys kind of like my setup with my whole computer now. So this is what we're working with here. As you can see, I have my second monitor. She's great. She's lovely. I am so happy that I have her. And then I have, I brought this from the city. I had this there. This is just my wireless keyboard. And then I also have one of these Mac cordless mouse things. And this is a mouse pad that I stole from my mom because she's not working today, but I will be needing to get one of these to bring back to the city. And then I brought back my laptop stand from the city that was there already. So the only thing I'm bringing back that wasn't there already is the monitor so it's very nice to have this setup we got a big window with some natural light we got a Callie here who just sits out right there hey hey chicken good morning it's kind of nice to have a little work buddy so yeah I've just been drinking a smoothie as my breakfast I made some iced coffee I'll probably check in a little later when there's something more interesting going on but for now we're just gonna do some work and yeah, welcome to it, everybody. Sorry, I haven't really been vlogging or anything. I mean, I just worked all day and then did a workout. So I showered because I'm going to be heading over to my friend James's apartment because he cuts hair and always hooks me and my mom up with a haircut when we need. It's also just super nice to spend time with him and catch up. So we're going to be going to his house in a little bit here. And yeah, I'm just going to leave my hair wet because I have super thick hair. It's a lot to use like a spray bottle to make super wet. I'll check in with you guys later. James has a beautiful dog. His name is Luke and he's the sweetest of all boys. Gotta go potty. <gasps> Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I am just getting my breakfast and stuff ready before I start work. And I just kind of want to show you guys what I do when I'm home in Syracuse. They only have a Keurig here, which is fine. I'm just not used to Keurig coffee that much anymore because I have my Ninja coffee bar at home. Just made a cup last night. I put it in the fridge and then I added half a cup of milk. And then I grabbed one of these Tarani French vanilla sugar-free syrups at Target. My dad was on a health kick around Christmas and he still is. He would love when I would be home on winter break or whatever and make him smoothies in our old like Hamilton Beach blender that my parents got literally as a wedding gift years and years and years ago before I was born. And I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna get him his own like nice blender for Christmas. I got him like one of the nice like ninja blenders. On Christmas, I opened up a present for my parents and it was like a nicer blender. My dad was like, I figured, you know, since you know the blender we have here at home is not that good when you come home you can use this blender you know we can make smoothies together and I was like oh maybe you should open your gift and he opened like the fancy ninja we were just cracking up because we had both gotten each other blenders and it was just like a really cute moment and that we like knew each other that well to get each other blenders I have a like a one of the older models of a ninja blender in New York so I left the one that they got me for Christmas this past year at Kyle's because he doesn't have a blender so now we can have smoothies you know in the mornings together and he can use it you know for whatever he wants and then the ninja that I got my dad has stayed here and it is so nice and fancy like every time I come home I get so excited to make smoothies because it's so much nicer than the one I have in the city so I'll go ahead and show you guys that and yes I did bring some straws from the city I brought my thick round smoothie straws and I brought my little shorter coffee straws because you know they just don't have the straw game here at home. So here's the cup. So I put a banana in it and then I'm gonna do pretty much exactly what I do in the city. Make some frozen berries, then some yogurt. So I'm just gonna do 
a generous amount of this. I just fill this up with water to the line. I know a lot of people don't like using water in smoothies, but I do. I'm gonna lock it in place. So this has like a smart IQ setting. It's like a auto IQ or something. So all you do is press one of these buttons and it knows how long to blend it for. It's so cool. checking in after totally not vlogging at all today. Sorry about that. It really was not an interesting day. I just did my work day, did a workout, ate some dinner with my parents. I do have some pretty fun plans tonight. So two of my friends from home are actually in town this week, which is not that often that that happens where we're all in the same place at the same time. So we were gonna go out and get like tacos and marks somewhere here in Syracuse but one of them works as a bartender and she doesn't get off until like nine so all the restaurants here close at like nine or ten because Syracuse man so I just offered to like kind of do like a DIY taco night kind of but I'm not making tacos but I am making sangria margaritas and then some snacky things like chips and guac I'm gonna try making those TikTok bell pepper nachos and then quesadillas I also made the sangria during my lunch hour because I wanted the fruit like the apples and the oranges that I cut up to kind of soak up the sangria but I'm gonna go head downstairs now that I've showered and I look somewhat presentable um i'm gonna go start prepping everything all right welcome to my kitchen we're going to start cutting the bell peppers i have to like do this squatting because i don't have a tripod or anything and i'm very tall and this is a bad angle so we're gonna do it like this <laughs> the taco seasoning to the beef, sprinkled it onto the bell pepper slices, and now I'm going to just sprinkle cheese on top. I'm going to stick them in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes. It's got some Mexican cheese here. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Also, I feel like I'm just going to serve them on this tray because I feel like you can just pull apart at them. All right, here she is before. A sloppy mess, but she cute. All right, so I've kind of set up this area of the kitchen on the island to kind of be our little station. So the bell pepper nachos came out like okay, but I've had to hold them in the oven this whole time. So I think they're gonna be a little bit soggy. The browned beef got extra browned. So we'll see how that goes, but I have salsa and sour cream out for this as well as the quesadillas, keeping them in the microwave just to stay warm. Walmart guac chips sangria and then the peach sparkling water i have for them to add in trust me the sangria is much better with this in it and then the margarita stuff i don't really make margaritas a lot so i don't really know what i'm doing but my friend erica knows so i'm gonna leave that to her and then i found these little margarita glasses in our basement so i washed them off and these little glasses for the sangria i already poured myself one and i gotta say I think I did a pretty good job. So this is our little spread. I think they're on their way. So here's to DIY Mark taco, not taco night. Reporting live from my bed with Miss Callie. So I'm just getting ready for bed, cleaned up the kitchen and everything. It was so nice to see my two friends. The bell pepper nachos were definitely good in their prime, but because they were sitting in the oven for a while, like just being held warm, they got a little weird. We're gonna go to bed because we've got work in the morning. There's nothing down there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Callie. Exposed. Good night. Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already the middle of the week. I feel like I just got here. I'm up working, you know, nothing too exciting. My mom and I are gonna go shopping later tonight after work. We are in need of some new warmer weather clothes. We're also going on vacation in about a month, so we wanna get some stuff for that too. Oh my gosh, good morning. My dad being a good dad and coming and getting my trash. 
are we talking to? The vlog. Who? The vlog. Oh, hi. It's YouTube. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yes, we are gonna go shopping today. We're gonna go to, I believe, Marshalls and Target. So yeah, I'll take you guys along for that too. So I'll check in with you later. <laughs> Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday. I was literally so exhausted after we went shopping. We went to Marshall's, got a ton of stuff there, did some serious damage. And then my parents went home and then I went to Target. I'm gonna save all the clothes for like a spring slash summer clothing haul. So I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I will show you guys some little fun things that I got. So you guys know how much I love these little skinny syrups. I got another coffee one. It's downstairs. I used it this morning, but they had the like cocktail version at this Marshall slash home goods and I've always wanted to try them. So it's five calories and zero sugar per serving. This is the peach bellini. And then the dragon fruit acai flavor is zero calories, zero sugar and carbs, which we love. So I'm really excited to try this maybe this weekend and just put it over ice with a little vodka maybe and some club soda, nothing too fancy. And then I also picked up this coconut oil because I had it in my Amazon cart, which it was actually like $12.99 in the cart, but at Marshall's it was only $3.99. So of course I had to snag it. I don't use a face oil for my gua sa, but now I've got one. I just remembered, I also got some sheet sets. My mom was like, okay, at Marshall's it's so cheap. So just get some sheets. And I got a set of sheets and she was like, get another. And I was like, okay. So we got these really cute sheets for my apartment in the city. So I got this set right here. This is the Rachel Zoe full sheet set, 100% cotton. It was only 25 bucks for a full set. And you can see it's got kind of like these little speckles on it that are like gray. So it's very neutral and goes well with my room. And then we got this other set, which was only $20, which is crazy. But it's the Sealy cool and clean superior fit sheet set so it's supposed to be like a cooling sheet which your girl always needs because i'm always getting overheated at night it's like a cool blue slash gray it's definitely more gray than blue but you can tell there's a little blue undertone in it i feel like i still have a lot to do so i am gonna go to the mall on saturday and hit up like h&m and stuff so hopefully i can fill in some of the gaps maybe do some online shopping or something but we're getting close people so Anyways, without chatting too much, I am at my desk. It is Thursday morning. Made my famous Mediterranean style avocado toast. I'm here at my desk. It's nine o'clock and it's time to get to work. So I'll check in later. Look who it is. Surprise everybody, Kyle's also in town this week. We travel separately though. So this is our first time reuniting. I mean, will we watch a movie? I'm not entirely sure, but all I know is this is the perfect excuse. I ordered this popcorn popping bowl. Oh my God, my finger's bleeding. Sick. I've been trying to pop my own popcorn lately and you can just put the kernels right in the bowl with a little olive oil and put it in the microwave for like three minutes and it's good. So we're gonna try it out. With Taylor's popcorn. <laughs> my mom did that. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> There's lines here that are 50 grams and then a hundred grams. Until this it gets is all such a good idea, making your own popcorn. Thank you. And you were crapping on my bowl. <laughs> I can't believe it, you would do that. That was good. Lid goes on the bowl. They say not to press it down because it'll rise with the kernels. So come with me to the microwave. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting in my house is so bad. Good luck in there. See you in a few minutes. Let's put it on four and be really keen on listening to the pops. We had successfully done it. My only review is that the bowl got really hot, which I was not in. Do it again. Oh. <laughs> I was definitely not anticipating it getting this hot, which is probably my only complaint. But other than that, it popped it really quickly, really well. And I love the convenience of that. It's already in a bowl. Seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. We're gonna add a little of this Colonel Seasons kettle corn popcorn seasoning. Kyle really likes eating it plain though, cause he's a cereal killer.
everybody. We're back in the city. I've missed this bed. So totally dropped off after like Thursday, I think was the last time I talked to you guys. Basically Friday, I went to a greenhouse area that has like a really cool cafe and really fun drinks with my mom and my friend James, who you guys saw earlier in the week. He cuts my hair and he's also one of my best friends. And then James and I went to just a bar in our hometown um, for some drinks afterwards. Then Saturday, I didn't vlog at all. I was just, um, if I'm gonna be honest, I was hungover. And then also I was just trying to tie up my loose ends in Syracuse, get my stuff together. Kyle ended up coming over. We had a little bonfire with my parents. It was really fun and relaxing. And then Kyle and I drove home today in a rental car. So we're back, I've unpacked, I'm exhausted. And it's like 10 o'clock and I need to start getting ready for bed because I've got work first thing in the morning. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me this week and this week in my life Syracuse edition. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll try to do a week in my life in New York soon. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video.